What is going on guys? It is me newest and welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, I got Nera 9 macro for y'all. This is a completely different macro from the original macro and there are going to be a few different steps that you need to complete in order to get this macro to be working correctly. So in this video, I'll be going over those steps and I'll also be going over how to set it up properly. There are a few extra settings that I'll have to go over that are a little different from the original macro, but I'll explain all that to you guys during the setting part of the video. Before I go ahead and get into that part of the video, I just want to ask you guys if you're enjoying my macros or if you've been using them for a while, feel free to subscribe, feel free to like, comment, do whatever you feel you need to do with impressions on my video getting it to other people really helps me and it really makes me happy to see that so many people are enjoying my macros and if you guys are enjoying it feel free to subscribe we're really close to 1000 subscribers and i can't wait to hit it without further ado let's get into the settings so for this video we're going to be using tiny task it's a very simple macro program app that allows you to run macros and create macros very easily this is a very easy program to use i'll go over all the steps in the video and yeah just make sure you download the most recent version and that will give you the best help so yeah let's Let's get back into the settings. Step one. So for step one, what you want to do is you want to go to the Souls RNG game homepage. Make sure you scroll down into your servers, press servers, and go into your private server. You need to go into your private server because the resets were actually broken in this first update, but they just recently fixed them and some old servers are actually still broken. So make sure you create a new server. And for step two, what you want to do is you want to open your collection book. Now this will make sense in a second, but you want to open your collection book because when you press back, it actually changes your camera position to be looking to the left this is exactly where you want to be looking for the macro so make sure every time you go to use your macro you want to press into your collection book before you use it because you want to be looking this way all the time for when you start the macro sometimes you can spawn already like this and that's fine but if you're not spawned like this already then you can open your collection book and it'll force your camera to look here step three make sure you reset to get yourself centered on the spawn pad you want yourself to be centered just so you the macro doesn't throw itself off and you don't want it to be correcting itself all the time and breaking all the time step four this is more of a recommendation than a step but make sure you don't use any big floating auras like gargantua iridescent memory you know genesis something that has you high off the ground you don't want to do this because there's a chance that when the macro is going into a corner to put itself in the correct position, the macro will float over a platform and will cause the macro to be thrown off and you won't get nearly as many items. So you want to make sure that you start the macro wearing something that's kind of low key and closer to the ground. And that's pretty much how you get your player set up for the macro. Now let's get into the tiny task portion. So for your tiny task portion, what you want to do is you want to go into your, your files. You want to find wherever you downloaded tiny task in your files, open it. And as you can see, it's a little tab right here in the corner i'm going to go over settings here in just a minute so to actually put the macro that you downloaded in tiny task what you want to do is you want to go to open go to downloads and then as you can see i have both the macros right here what you want to do is you want to go to arrow 9 macro vip or non vip whichever one you downloaded and you want to just put that in there don't play it yet because i have to go over settings but now you have this in here and you'll know that it's in there because you'll see the title of the macro right up at the top so for settings what you want to do is you want to go into preferences and you want to make sure that your first setting play speed is set to one times if your play speed is set to one half two times or even a hundred times the macro will play at either one half two times a hundred times the speed which is not right you don't want your macro to play slower or faster or else it'll throw off and it won't get any items at all it's very important next this setting is called continuous playback you want to make sure that the setting is enabled if you have it disabled then the macro will not replay overnight it will only play once and then you'll be afk and kicked for being afk so make sure that continuous playback is enabled to make sure the macro stays running overnight or whenever you're away from your PC. Next, what you want to do is always on top. You don't have to have this enabled, but I recommend having it enabled just so you can keep track of your macro. Always on top, what it does is it allows you to have your macro tab always on top of whatever tab is playing in the background. If I have this setting off and I tab back into Roblox, as you can see, it goes away. So if you want to keep track of your macro, make sure you have always on top enabled. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the settings. Now what you can get ready to do is you can get ready to play the macro. But there are actually two ways that you can play the macro. First off, if you go into preferences, but there's a playback hotkey. And playback basically means starting the macro. So mine is set to F12, but if you don't have an F12 key, you can just change it to some of these. But usually what I do is I just press the play button and tab back into Roblox, but you can do it either way. So to get the macro started, just tab back in. You want to press play and then tab back in super quick 
and boom, your macro is started. And as you can see, it takes you through most of the spots. It's just a different camera setting. So here, it takes you to this spot right here. It collects there. It floats over to the corner over here. It jumps up here, collects from this spot, and then it goes over to the wall of the house and collects through this wall. And then it resets once again. You then reset, the macro comes over this way, floats past the workshop, and then collects right there under that tree. And then as you can see, the macro collects these items here, goes towards the wall, and then it slowly makes its way above the mountain and it collects right there. So as you can see, it collects from every single item spawn aside from the cave. So you should have no problems working this macro as long as you follow all steps. It's a very simple setup. Just make sure you watch all the steps in my video. And that, that's pretty much gonna be it for the macro video. I appreciate all of the support that I've gotten on my macro videos as of recently. The last one blew up. It's at like 63K views, almost a thousand likes. I, I just, I can't believe that you guys are enjoying it so much and I'm really happy. Anyways, that's gonna be all for the video guys. And I hope you all have a good day. Peace. Oh, you're 29, 21, 8, 5, 8. Yeah, you shouldn't be drinking. You shouldn't be in the room with this game. I like this phone. Shut up, bitch. Make me a little punk. Scare me a little punk. Damn, bro, that's a kid.